So, this clown is Kefka. And Kefka is actually a clown, so I'm not calling him dumb. And I'm not gonna spoil Kefka's role in this game, but Kefka's one of the, uh, at this point, one of the bad guys. One of the bad guys. I'm not gonna spoil how important he is, but he's one of the bad guys. And I'm not doing anything here. This is like... This is Terra's dreams at the moment, memories. Yeah. Maybe we should. That's the Emperor. Gestalt. There's Kefka, Leon, and Celes are the three ones in the middle. Long live Emperor Kestal! Ooh, who's that handsome devil coming there? Our Indiana Jones, treasure hunter. Took you long enough, busy with all that robbing and plundering, I presume. A treasure hunter, a trail-worn traveler, searching the world over the poor relics of the past. So that's a noble way of saying B. Name lock. This is actually kind of strange that I have to use my keyboard and mouse. Do, do. Anyway, is there something you need me to do? Yeah, there's a girl. Oh, girl, you don't mean? So, Locke is quite important for the Returners, which are the Rebel group. Uh, so, he's one of the main guys there. And there he comes to the rescue. Oh no! The Emperor's guards are coming. What will I ever do? Lucky for us, we are the main characters. There's always gonna be some really good coincidence happening. Oopa! Oh! You, you wouldn't mean Mox? Yay! So, lucky for us, we got some Mug help. Moogles. Use us to protect Terra from the cars. Would you like an explanation? Ah, uh, why not? You'll fight us using three different parties. Press the L button to switch between. Defeat the leader of the gods before his true freeze there are the battles lost. I don't think there is a possibility uh, for losing uh lose this. And this guy's just standing there. Okay, we'll put this here. I'll put that here. And this guy is just standing here. There we go. <laughs> that's a good... That's a good question. Stole potion. The most useful ability during the early game is Locust uh, Steel ability. And now we just wait. And again, we're gonna steal with Locke. Let's see if we can get a potion and the rest attacks. Uh, you should really try uh, Haggis, Salmon, Poutine, Salt, Red, Caviar, season one point. 
<laughs> okay, I'll promise it's gonna be season one final. Right, wife. Okay, let's just fucking intercept it. Oh, we have one mob that, mob that has really low uh, health. That's kind of fucking scary. Let's take that group up there and let's take one match with this group. I think they have done something to this. Because either the guards move way slower or something, because this is way easier than in the original one. It wasn't this easy. I think they have toned down the difficulty a little. Which is a good thing, because, well... Yeah, the, gu the guards move way fucking slower. Where's my TikTok share? It's like telling a friend to share, start up a business again, and it goes successfully. What? I mean, it's a, it's a good idea uh, ending with a bang, something you never tried, and also something that not many people have tried altogether. Yeah, I think Sur Streaming should be the one, though. If you don't know what Sur Streaming is, it's like one of the worst things you could eat. It's 100% puke episode, then. There's no fucking chance of survival. Oh, we almost fucking died. I didn't watch the hell at all, but we managed to pull this off. Um, I think we're gonna go with these guys. Here. Let's see if there's anything else to steal and just attack with the rest. I guess there's nothing to steal anymore. Oh, they just stopped on Moglin. Doesn't really matter. I have all my heavy hitters here. Oh, wow. Well, we don't need that one. If he dies, he dies. Yeah, that guy is that guy can't die. So we actually need to use Phoenix down on that guy. There we go. Oh my oh my fucking god. Oh thank god. <laughs> Why was that so hard this time? No, I didn't say anything. Any of them were a no. I didn't see. I didn't say any of those were a no. I, I, I'm, why not? Like I haven't tried any of those. So I can't promise when. But. Uh, salmon is going to be. I, I, I think salmon and a lot of fish will be. Uh, filled in a sushi bar and try them when you visit Scotland Yeah, like there's really specific ones like Pugu. I need to travel to Japan. So it's not any anytime <laughs> Anytime soon, so
So yeah. Here we go. And now we're outside Narsh. And we are actually going here. Uh, we are not going here because I'm a beginner, which I'm definitely not. We're going here because that. So that bucket has, and there's a lot of other places in the in the game. Oh, they are telling you this. In, in the original game, you didn't have that exclamation mark saying that there's something special here. You just needed to fucking try. Uh, it healed you. So there was some healing water inside. Oh, that actually ruins the game a little. Oh no, monster in a box. Yeah, in the, in the original game, you didn't get any excl exclamation uh, markers telling you that there's items or anything. I think I got a Mithril knife, so I can actually equip that there. I don't think I have Velix. I don't. I, I have not, none of those. Hey. I'm pretty sure I know all of things already, so I just need to collect all the good stuff here. I live next to an old one down the road. It's one of the royal family's residences. I've seen those various countless towns. Well, Prince Charles and the other less known ones. Castle isn't next door for context. Next to the royal estate, five minutes away for. There's a potion. Hey, get the fuck out of my way! So if you are new, new to the game, this is where you want to come. Because every single room has a different thing here. So if you want to learn the basics of the game, this is the place to learn the basics of the game. Ah, I don't need to learn the basics of the game. Oh no! So yeah, we can't go to Narsh. Uh, we can't go back to Narsh because well, we are wanted. So we need to go to Figaro, and that's just what we're gonna do. This is the open world. As you can see, it's a big map. Murray, bro. <laughs> And we're gonna use Locker Steel every every time we can. Because uh, Locker Steel will give us free items. And that's technically free currency. And you you never can have too much currency in this game. And this is Castle Figaro, which we, we're gonna meet the second. Uh, uh, no, the third main character of the game. Which is the king, uh, king of Figaro, uh, King Edward, who's a little, little, little bit of a ladies' man. One of the best characters in the game. Yeah, yeah, King Edward. There you go. King Edward is one of the best characters in the game, not just early games overall. Uh, the young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the techno uh, technological revolution. Yeah, it's actually... Uh, no, sorry, it was Edgar. <laughs> I remember it was Ed Edward. No, no, it was Edgar, sorry. My bad. I need to change the name to Edgar, though. Yeah, so it, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I thought it was Edward. 
This is actually kind of embarrassing, considering how many times I've played this game. So yeah, Edgar. Edward and Ed Edgar is kind of similar at one spot. So you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. There we go. Now we can freely move wherever we want to. So actually, going on circles in the original game wasn't possible like this. But because you can move diagonally in this one, uh, you can actually... The movement is way better. Open potion, antidote. Welcome! So, you actually want to buy this. Those are the weapons for... Those are the tools for Edgar. So if you're playing this for the first time, go to that vendor and buy those. They'll come in handy later on. And there's... Oh, need. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is a new thing. It wasn't called Cold Needle. I, I, I can't remember what it was. But yeah, only thing you need to buy is potion, nothing else. Uh, okay, we can buy a couple of Phoenix Stars probably, just in, just in case. Thank you. Uh, we can actually sell Dacker, right? Yeah, let's sell Dacker. We don't want to keep too many things. So yeah, the secret this card was saying is this actually the castle can uh, go on the ground. Go on the crown, and that's the big secret of this castle. That's not a spoiler per se, but... It's something... it's a fun little uh, trivia. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure we needed to go to sleep. Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And it was the other side. Rest a bit? Yeah, why not? And we will see a familiar character soon. Sold. Sold? What was sold? Ah. Ah. There's a phoenix down. It's actually kind of funny to think about. This was originally a Super Nintendo game and they made all these different rooms and uh, secrets and stuff for such a small platform. So, this guy and that switch controls the secret weapon of the Picaro castle and you can't see it yet but there will be a time when you can see it. 
And here's all the villains. And here's actually one of the villains, which is this one here is... Was it called the Silver Fox? Let's try and have a chat with him. Ah, uh, Lone Wolf, yeah. So Lone Wolf is somebody we will see on the second act of the game. And there's actually an optional quest with Lone Wolf. So if you if you complete the optional quest of the Lone Wolf, you will actually uh, gain Mog, which is one of the movers. That minimap is actually kind of revealing, though. Calm down, Satan. Don't get any fucking ideas. You could actually bring me coffee if you want to. <laughs> 